how do you detect um, whether you have a, I just want to make sure the sound is off. How do you detect whether this is what's going on? There's a way to kind of palpate. So my thumbs are lined up on the sacrum and my hands are, uh, my index fingers are going to be palpating kind of the iliac crest, like the tops of the ilium. So I'm speaking now to the rehab therapists uh, in the crowd and the veterinarians. And so you just try to rock um, when you press on the, on the, um, the, the dorsal iliac spine, you should be able to see the pelvis effectively dip forward. So um, if this is, you know, we talked about how this is your, where your leg comes off. And so those are the two halves of your, of your pelvis. Okay. And then I'm going to turn. So these, these two halves of your pelvis, they're supposed to move like this. So you can imagine there's a leg dangling here. They're supposed to be able to move back and forth and the sacrum right here and the sacroiliac joint, that's supposed to facilitate that movement. If there's a problem there, if that joint jams, like it's just, you know, now we have this, it wants to move, but it can't. Um, that's when we get pain and that pain is intense it's an intense point pressure pain and it produces sciatica in response i'll show you exactly how that happens but first let's just watch how i palpate so i got my my index fingers on the iliac spine my thumbs on the sacrum and now i'm just going to go ahead and rock forward first on the right and then and then i'm going to try rocking on the left as well and i'm just trying to feel that ilium move in relation to the sacrum and they sh both sides should move easily if one side doesn't if it's jammed uh, you'll feel that it won't dip forward uh, and that will tell you that there's a sacroiliac fixation so in summary the there's a couple other things you can look for this sacrum this triangular shelf of bone that my thumbs are resting on top of it will start to tilt one side or the other, depending on like, for example, if, if the ilium is dipped forward on this side and stuck, it'll drag the sacrum down with it. And you'll, and instead of being a horizontal plate, it'll be a uh, canted towards the side that's stuck. Meanwhile, you push down the iliac spine and it just won't be equally springy one side to the other. And another little tip is the lumbar vertebrae. We're going to rotate in sympathy with the sacrum. If you imagine that, one side is rotated down and it's stuck, then yeah. it's going to pull the sacrum with it and it's going to pull the last few lumbar vertebrae with it. And so you can feel that the whole region, probably L6, L7 at least, and the sacrum and the ilium are both rotated. So there's a lot there to palpate for.